At Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank, we make mobile banking easier and better so you can embrace everything that life sends your way. Because you can't live your life by phone, but you can use it to make your life better. Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank. Grace! Congratulations, Grace! Thank you! That was America's Got Talent winner Grace Vanderwall being escorted from the stage following a short parade and ceremony in her honor Saturday afternoon. She's got so much going on in her life right now. It's just oh, crazy. So amazing. But we're starting to get lessons back up. We're going to be calling you soon if you are still doing that. Absolutely. How proud are you, Mom? And, uh, I'm very proud. <laughs> but the real story here is the way this generationally talented 12-year-old singer-songwriter has inspired her community and classmates. And today, they got to express their gratitude. She is an outstanding singer, and she is a super talented songwriter. And I think that her uh, music really uh, hits home with people, strikes a chord. We are just so proud of her, and um, I'm really proud to have known her. Well, I had some classes with her, like I had chorus with her, and she's really nice. When I saw her on America's Got Talent, I was so inspired to see this girl that wrote her own music that is so touching and like means something to her. Grace was in the choir and in the band and in the marching band. She is a music student across the board. She's a really good singer and she's really good at writing songs and it's really cool that she was at our school. How inspirational is what she's done for your kids? And for the rest of the world, really. Um, when you listen to her, her uh, poetry and the text of her music, it's, it's just fantastic. My one dream in the world is to become a singer and she just motivates me to do better and no matter how much people say that you're bad at something, just try, try, try again. Just to see a kid who was able to do a dream of mine at this age just has inspired me to work harder. So we'll take it one step at a time, don't be nervous, you'll be fine, we'll get through this the privilege to announce that we do have Miss Grace Vanderwall with us here. Grace. We have Tina and Dave. Grace's parents are with us. Her sister Olivia. Yes, Olivia. And her brother Jacob. You know, it's always nice to hear of a young person, a young student, making strides in their life and being being looked up to. And that's what we have here today, as it is seen in the crowd and the people that come out and support her. It's a great day here in the Village of Suffering. It's a great day that we honor one of our residents here in the village. She really portrays to be such a role model to our community, to her students, to her fellow students in suffering. I am very proud today to announce that Grace Vanderwall, today, October 1st, 2016, is the first winner of the Key to Rockland County. Here you go. I just want to thank you for everything you've done in your quest for all the people of Rockland. Thank you very much. That's such an honor to receive from the county executive the first key to the county. Let's hear it. Wow. Next, I'd like to present uh, Senator David Carlucci, please. And unfortunately, we don't have a key to the state, but we're, we'll work on it. But what we do have is a, is a proclamation uh, on behalf of the New York State Senate uh, proclaiming today, October 1st, as Grace Vanderwall Day in the state of New York. Do 
you set an incredible example for all the students of our school by working hard and persisting at something you love and showing us that success is possible. We always say once a Suffern Mountie, always a Suffern Mountie. So wherever the road takes you, we wanted you to have a keepsake of Suffern Middle School. So all of your classmates from seventh grade sign this Suffern sweatshirt for you. Grace is putting a sweatshirt on right now. Nice, yeah. Woo! Put it on the right way, Grace. Turn it around. Looking good. Looking good. We want Grace. We want Grace. We want Grace. We want Grace. I usually uh, like joke around about everything, but on a serious note, thank you for everyone who has like supported me and just been real nice. <laughs> I would not have been here, uh, truly I would not have been here without any of you because I'm, I'm like almost 100% positive that like 60% of the votes was suffered. Yeah. Looking at it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Reporting from Suffern, Jay Berkey for HVNN.com.